the second drug we're looking at this week is penicillin. And it started uh, way back in 1928 when Alexander Fleming was working with a bacterium which causes boils. And just Google boils and images of them if you want to be grossed out. He found that no bacteria grew around the mold that was uh, growing in the petri dishes. Um, and so he concluded that the mold had inhibited the growth of the bacteria. And uh, he hypothesized that it was because of the penicillin that the mold um, was producing. Fleming's research was continued in 1938 by Florian Chain, um, who were able to isolate the compound and actually save mice. And then in 1941, penicillin was used on a patient with severe blood poisoning, and it did show initial improvement in the patient's condition. But they ran out of penicillin, and the bacteria won over, and the patient died. In 1943, Moyer and Rousseau were able to develop technology to actually make penicillin on a large scale, and now it is the most widely used antibiotic in the world. Here is an image of a bacterial culture, the cloudy white substance in the petri dish uh, with six different antibiotics. And we can see that there are uh, different antibiotics that work on different types of bacteria. The two antibiotics seen on the bottom left here and here are not effective against this type of bacteria. The other four are. The Structural feature common to all penicillins is 6-APA, or 6-amino penicillinic acid. The activity results from the addition of the side chain. So looking at the previous picture with the six different antibiotics and how four are effective and two are not, that is due to the differences in the side chains, which is the R functional group shown in red here shown in red here so that side chain group um, is actually what causes the difference in activity the first penicillin benzyl penicillin or penicillin g was deactivated by stomach acid so it actually had to be injected in order to be effective after the structure was determined they were able to make some modifications so that the penicillin was actually acid resistant and then it could be taken orally. The four-membered beta-lactam ring seen here is what is responsible for the antibacterial properties of penicillins. The bond angles are approximately 90 degrees rather than 109.5 which is what we learned was normal for a carbon atom when we were in the bonding unit. The smaller bond angle creates a strain in the ring and makes the amide group very reactive. Once the penicillin is inside the bacterium, the beta-lactam ring opens and irreversibly binds to an enzyme, transpepsidase, which is responsible for cross-linking of bacterial cell walls. In essence, it weakens the cell walls and allows water to uh, permeate into the cell. This causes the osmotic pressure in the cells to increase and eventually rupture the cell killing the bacteria overuse and or improper use of benzyl penicillin has resulted in the mutation of many bacteria to produce penicillinase which is an enzyme that deactivates the penicillin an example of improper use of penicillin would be if you are prescribed the medication for uh, three doses a day for seven days and you stop taking the medicine after five days. If you were unsuccessful at killing all of the bacteria that was causing your infection, the strongest uh, bacteria would be left to continue to uh, grow and therefore you would need a different medication in order to kill that bacteria. Because the bacteria that produce the highest levels of penicillinase have become dominant species, we have to continue, continually develop new types of penicillin by modifying the side chain of the drug. These modified penicillins are better, but there are strains of bacteria which are now completely resistant to most penicillins. 
and the response is to create a new class of antibacterial drugs, which the bacteria have not yet become resistant to. Pharmaceutical companies are in a constant battle to stay ahead of the mutating bacteria. And the multi-drug resistance in bacteria has become a significant problem for health conditions that are listed here.